now for some good news about Zika. New research from Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis and the UCSD School of Medicine shows that the Zika virus kills brain cancer stem cells, the kind of cells most resistant to standard treatments. Each year in the United States, about 12,000 people are diagnosed with glioblastoma, the most common form of brain cancer. Among them is U.S. Senator John McCain, who announced his diagnosis in July. Test findings suggest that Zika infection and chemotherapy radiation treatment have complementary effects. The standard treatment kills the bulk of the tumor cells, but often leaves the stem cells intact to regenerate the tumor. But the Zika virus attacks the stem cells. We see Zika one day being used in combination with current therapies to eradicate the whole tumor, said Cheda, an assistant professor of medicine and neurology. So there you have it, a little bit of good news for the day. Reporting for Corky's Pest News Minute, I'm Glenn Erath.